Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily 3D camera track in After Effects. This is the footage you saw in the beginning and I'm going to be breaking down this effect and showing you exactly how I created this footage along with how to hide your text behind your subject or any objects in your scene. So let's just get started and I'll create a new project. Alright so now my new project with my raw footage as you see when I scroll through there is no tracked footage. So to track our camera we can just right click on our footage, select track and stabilize and then select track camera. Or we can also go to window, select tracker, and then you'll see the tracker panel here. We can just select track camera. After Effects will analyze the footage for a minute or several minutes. And where it says initializing here, it will show you how many frames are left for the program to analyze. So I'll just let After Effects track my footage and I'll be back once it is complete. Alright, so once your 3D camera tracker is done analyzing, you can scroll through your footage and you should see a lot of tracking points. Well, hopefully. My footage is pretty dark, so there's not a whole lot of tracking points. Ideally, you'd want your footage to be light and have lots of contrast, so there's lots of pixels for After Effects to track. So let's just go to our beginning here and add our first bit of text. And if you hover above your image, you'll start to see this target appear. As you can see, when you click on it, these three points make this pane. And then you just want to right click, create text and camera. And let's just select our text. And I'll just play around with the rotation and the scaling. I'll fast forward and I'll be back once I am satisfied with the placement. This looks good, and now I'll just change the text to how to, just like the intro. And now let's scroll through to the beginning. And you can see that it's not tracked totally property at the beginning here, so I'll just scroll through until it does look like it's actually in place. I think right here looks good. And then I'll just make this the beginning of when the text comes in. So now let's make this text go behind the pillar. And we can do that by selecting our background image, going to edit and selecting duplicate or control or command D. And then we'll just drag that to the very top. Then we'll want to grab our pen tool and let's just make a selection around the pillar. And under our top layers masks, we'll want to turn on the keyframes. So now any adjustments we make will be tracked in time. And now yeah, when we scroll through it, it looks good. And we can make this transition smoother by fading the text in just by going to our transform, selecting this keyframe again and just making the opacity zero. And then I'll just move 10 frames and make it 100. So now when I scroll through, you'll see it's hidden behind the wall and it fades in. So now let's just scroll through. I did the exact same stuff with this text, so nothing new there. The only difference with the final mask here behind my subject is I use the rotoscope brush, which is a whole other video on its own. So if you want to see more of that, make sure to subscribe to not miss that video. And that is how you can easily camera track in Adobe After Effects. I hope this video helped. If it did, don't forget to hit subscribe and follow us on all of our social media to stay connected and never miss a new tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.